Hi, my Linda Butterworth here with Alliteration Adventure 665. Today's alliteration is a little different because we're going to be talking about using onomatopoeia. Do you know what that is? It's a fun word to say, onomatopoeia. But it, what it means is that phonetically that when you say a word, it kind of imitates or suggests the sound as it's described. For instance, when I say quack, 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 the sound quack, the word quack sounds like what the duck does. So that is onomatopoeia. So I have a bunch of these all kind of put together just so you can help me figure out what they say. Uh, all about onomatopoeia. Quack, 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 a duck. Clip, clop, clip, clop, clip, clop, a horse. cock a doodle -doo. a rooster, right? Ping pong, have you ever played ping pong? Ping pong, that's the sound the ball makes when it hits and you hit it back. Ping pong, ping pong, yeah. Clackety clack, clackety clack, clackety clack. The sound a train makes when it's going over the rails. Ding dong, ding dong. That's the sound you hear when you push the doorbell. Onomatopoeia doesn't always have to be alliterations, but today they're all alliterations. Kind of fun, don't you think? Well, I hope you enjoyed our little stray from the original alliterations, and we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.